Sumner Redstone. I've been in multiple meetings with people who've, who've been there when the quote mercurial Sumner Redstone is literally, you, you know, this is a guy who hung from a building while the fire was shooting out for over an hour. I mean, he's tough. He was 80 something then, he's 90 something now. Total demon goblin, okay? And the point is, but a will to dominate and destroy the soul of America and a bunch of other people up there in Hollywood. And I've been there with all these big directors, man, and they are all under the control of the New World Order. And, 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 and it, it is so frustrating that the American people have no idea. We've already won, folks. We've already won. But they're all afraid. What, Mike Judge isn't afraid to come on the show and say there's tyranny in Hollywood and you better watch it, what he says, they'll come after him. I mean, I mean, who is there willing to speak out? Billy Corrigan, Dave Mustaine, uh, somebody like Mike Judge. I've had a bunch of other actors and people on, but I mean, we're talking about the biggest actors in this country, the biggest directors in this country. Our listeners of this show hate the New World Order and are awake. But they don't want the system coming after them. Well, we're going to lose everything if you don't start going public. Now, I don't know this guy. I know of his movies and know who he is. Uh, John Singleton's made some really good movies. And, you know, he says it's a bunch of fake liberals trying to totally control what black people can and can't. And he's nice and says, you know, these are some fun movies. They're okay. But, you know, we have to do what we're told to only put out one type of culture. So let's play a clip of that interview and then go to your phone calls. Yeah, because they want black people to be what they want them to be. And nobody is, 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 is man enough to go and say that. They want black people to be who they want them to be as, as opposed to what they are. You know what I mean? Like the black films now, so-called black films now, are, they're great. They're great films, but they're just product. They're, they're not moving the bar forward creatively or anything. Well, it's just not like... You know, you know, it's not that you have to say something or you have to make an important movie. We're in an entertainment business. We're in the business where we got as, as many butts in the seats and get people excited on Friday, Saturday, and even come out Sunday to see the picture. And then even after that, they got to want to buy it. They got to want to, like, mm -hmm. you know, order it, push a button, and get it. But you don't do that unless you can pull someone's emotions in, like, unless you get really specifically, unless you're specific culturally to the point that it becomes universal. Mm -hmm. When you try to make it homogenized, when you try to make it, try to make it appeal to everybody, then you don't have anything that's special. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boys in the Hood wasn't made for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was made for like a young black audience that, that buys hip hop records. But I knew that as, 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 if I got as universal as possible, it would cross over. Mm -hmm. and, and I still hold to that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, Francis Co for a couple of, was the right person to do the Godfather because mm -hmm. he had an Italian American background. Mm -hmm. You know, Woody Allen, his early pictures that he, you know, that that were basically like, you know, his his Upper East Side nebbish Jewish guy, right? Unless you're from that environment, you couldn't really totally appreciate mm -hmm. those. All right, films, there you go. Right? Basically, but, what it is is a feedback loop where they take one stereotype and then push that, and then people pick up on that, and it stagnates culture. Well, what's the stereotype in the cartoons, the movies, the dramas? Gun-owning white men are terrorists who molest children. What about that message? But see, whites won't boycott. Whites won't get upset when they're being demonized. So you're fair game. We're going to go to, to break and come back and talk to Venom, Alum, Jeff, uh, Joey, and many others that are patiently holding. First-time callers, 800 259 9231 800 259 I've done uh, two hour, uh, an hour and 49 minutes of radio here and haven't plugged anything yet. Folks, we carry the very best products out there, bar none, whether it's the Pro Pure uh, G2 systems that cut out the glyphosates, the fluoride, all of it, that blow away the competition or the same price or lower priced. Promo code WATER gets you 10% off, breaking any price out there. The full selection. Infowarsstore.com, and we've got other filtration systems as well that are even less expensive but aren't as good. And they've got the Life Straw, the Ultimate Survival Straw. Infowarsstore.com, and by shopping with the good guys, by purchasing products at Infowarsstore.com, you're voting with your dollars through free association to fund a hardcore, dedicated media operation with filmmaking, magazines, 
uh, the, the news articles, the nightly news, everything we do, building an organization to really be able to expose the globalist. Then there's InfoWarsLife.com, where you can find the fluoride shield of the nascent iodine and five other compounds that detoxify like nothing else. The purified, proprietary uh, nascent iodine survival shield, that's available. And again, no one else has this type of iodine, folks. It's double the strength, proprietary, turns blue on paper, electric blue, not black or red. That's because, that just gives you an example how special it is. And now we have a new product, Silver Bullet, the strongest nano-sized silver. Took us six months to finally get a lab that could do it, prestigious lab, Silver Bullet. Now, you don't take this regularly. This is an antibiotic, internal, external. Consult your physician because this is, this is strong stuff. This is not a game. And when, wait till you see what comes out of the. I mean, it's strong. It's it's gold color. It's it's not it's not clear. It's strong. So that's available at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. They can answer all your questions. 888-253-3139. Thanks for your support. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. By the way, folks, Alex Jones here back live. I want to be clear. I'm not bragging that I've been to some Hollywood parties. Oh, I'm so cool. I'm saying I absolutely hate it. I I'm telling you, though, most people there are awake, actually. But they're under the control of just the studio heads and the media heads. So the revolution of liberty is very strong, and the system's worried about it. That's why Homeland Security targets the libertarians and the, quote, conspiracy theorist. That just means a heretic who questions the matrix. The grand architect of the matrix, Lucifer. We're people that don't just buy what mainstream media vomits out. We don't just repeat it like mother's milk. We don't trust it for good reason.
And so there's a huge awakening happening, and that's why they want to bring in total tyranny, because the system can see it's not going to be able to suppress things forever. So be yourself. Liberalism is not even what the Democrats are. They're a bunch of tyrants. What they intimidate, most of the so-called liberals, really aren't even liberals. They've got guns. Yeah, they drink raw milk. Yeah, they're for animal rights, but they've got guns, and they don't really like abortion. But the media chooses to only cover what they say when it's a talking point to give them coverage. They're told what to go out and say to the media. They're used to create the illusion. And that's what I'm saying. And that illusion's coming down. And the only thing holding it up is our will to speak out and things like the Republican leadership that are a bunch of scum. They're there sharing power with the Democrats. The Democrats aren't going to share power with the leadership of that. The people are looking for a way to get freedom back. But it needs to happen to the two parties because they've got a monopoly right now. And we need to kick the Republican blue bloods out or there's no future. Venom in FEMA Region 3. Uh, what, what former state are you in FEMA Region 3, Venom? Can you hear me, Alex? Yes, Venom. What area are you in, Venom? I'm in Virginia, Alex. Okay, go ahead. Um, I have a couple questions, but first I want to start off. Um, I really appreciate your show. Um, I've been spreading the word with you guys. Um, I've been awake since uh, September 11th, which is my birthday. Um, I had lost a close family member in the first tower that fell. And mm. ever since then, you know, I've been, you know, pretty much woke up. Um, first of all, I'd like to start about the censorship thing that's going on on the Internet. Um, I've been sharing some of you guys' stuff on my page. And here recently, about two days ago, um, all the stuff I had shared has been censored out. You're talking about dumb um, effer book? That's what Zuckerberg calls his users? <laughs> yeah, a dumb, dumb effer book. Um, I, I, I'm not trying to use profanity, folks. That's what he calls anyone that uses it. But, I mean, we still use the enemy platform. Oh, yeah, no, they've announced anything libertarian or conservative or gun, they're going to start censoring with pleasure. Well, well, um, I have a couple other pages on there, Citizens for Freedom, Warriors for Justice, and stuff like that that I've been sharing, too, and they've been kind of censoring them guys out uh, also. Um, with the thing in the U.K. about the babies, um, to me, I think that might be a divergent to the real picture that's going on. No, the fact um, that they kidnap kids and sell them into sex slavery? Yeah, for those that don't know, London Telegraph aborted babies and sent ready to heat U.K. hospitals. Yes. Um, and, and that makes me think back, too, because, see, I have a three-year-old son now, and uh, there was a possibility uh, because of health issues that he was having that we might have to abort him. And the doctor at that time was trying to talk us into it because they didn't think that he was going to make it. Well, you know, I, something told me not to do it, and I don't know if I had a guardian angel at that time, but now he's like this three-year-old kid who... You know, he's running around, you know, just as healthy as he can be, loves life. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I didn't make that decision. Can you imagine um, uh, killing the, the, the child now? Oh, man, I, I tell you, I, I look at my son every day. You know, he actually listens and watch, watches y'all's podcast with me, believe it or not. <laughs> What's but, his uh, name? I'll say yeah, hi to him. His name's his name Shandon. Shandon, your daddy loves yeah. you. And you grow up and be good and stay strong and eat healthy and don't use government drugs because they're not cool. And grow up to raise a good son and daughter and continue the family name on. We'll be right back with Alan, Jeff, Joey, TJ, and more. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
and that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.